In this video, specifically we are going to learn how can you call a batch script from a batch script. So there is a batch script inside that you would like to call some other batch script, how that can be done. And also we are going to learn how can you pass some parameters. We are going to look at some of the arguments that can be used with the uh, call function in the batch script. So this will be very interesting. So let's continue onto our screen and let's get started. So uh, the very first thing what we will do, we'll create some two different dot .bat, blank BAT file. So here I have created a test dot BAT and I have created a call batch script. There are two files you create. Okay. So once these two files are created, let's document something in the test dot BAT. This test dot BAT we are going to call. Okay. We'll write some simple things. Echo of and let's say color E. And then we are going to write a simple sentence. Okay. Very simple sentence. I will say echo. Good morning. That's it. Okay. Good morning. Okay. This is a very simple sentence which I have written. Now I would like to call this. So I will simply use a pause. Or not required. I will leave it as you know leave as it is. Save it. Let's go to our main bat file in which we are going to call the test.bat. Okay, so here also I will write echo of and then I am going to write um, the function that we will be using is the call. Okay, this is the command which we will be using call. Okay, this is the command which we are going to use call and with that we have to tell um, call function which file I would like to call. Uh, there are two ways. Okay, you can directly simply say test.bat or simply write test even that will work. Otherwise, the best way is to provide the entire path. So I will take the directory path, copy paste, and then I'm going to slightly write it here. Test.bat. Now, a couple of important things you have to know. If you are writing test.bat or whatever the file name, don't give a space. For example, if you see some of the files I have given a space, 19 trim space white, you know, the name should not have a space. Otherwise, it will create problem. So ensure your name should not have a space. Whichever you are calling should not have a space in between. If it is a multi word, it has to be without space that the, the uh, bat file which you are calling. Okay. So here you can see test.bat doesn't have a space. Sometimes it will be like test space one. So this won't work. Okay. Ensure your the batch file name doesn't contain any space. All right. So you got it. Now after this, I am going to pause it here. Save. So what would happen? When I am running this main bat file, it is going to call the test.bat. Whatever is written in the test.bat, it is going to execute and will return back to the main and it will pause here. Okay. So here, before it pauses, I will show something return to main. Okay. So we understand it has come back to the main. All right. Let's save both of it. Okay. And let's run it. Let me run that main bat file. So if you see the main bat file has started running. It said good morning because good morning was written in the test.bat. It called that and returned the output. And then it has come back to the main. You can see return to main. It is saying press any key to continue. So it will exit. You know, exit. So this much we have understood. Now there is one more thing I will tell you. What is that? What if I would like to pass something? For example, I would like to say good morning Rakesh. Okay. So how will I pass it? It is pretty simple. I am going to use a set command and I will prompt and I will keep that in a variable any variable let's say a and I'm going to say enter name okay so whatever name we are going to enter it will be carried by the variable a now what I'm going to do here in the call function after writing the BAT file I am going to pass that value of a so to pass the value of any variable what we write percentage a percentage so that way it is going to pass the value. So this will become a parameter. What do you call? You call it as a parameter. We are passing some value to the batch file that we are going to call. So you have passed the parameter. But how will you utilize the parameter? So utilizing the parameter is pretty simple. All you have to write is percentage 1. Why 1? Why not 2? Why not 3? I will show you that. First understand because you are passing only one parameter, I am writing 1. If I am pa passing two parameters, I can write percentage 2 and call it. I am going to show you that. So now let's leave it as it is. Okay. You understood, right? How I have written. And I am simply writing good morning percentage 1. So what would happen? The value that we are going to pass to the variable A will come to this test.bat and here it is going to print that value. Okay. So let's run it and see how the output is coming. 
it's pretty simple now the window has come okay i did not save it let me first save it save and then save it okay now let's run it okay so what is happening it is asking enter name so let me enter name rakesh now the moment i hit on enter from the main batch file this third line will be called and rakesh will be passed to test.bat and here it's going to print that value so if i hit on enter you can see good morning rakesh it has said getting it now let me show you a few more things what if i would like to pass another value i would like to say good morning john one more person i would like to say okay so for that i'll repeat the same thing copy paste and instead of a i'll use another variable b okay so here we will be passing two names so here what you do after writing percentage a percentage give a small space give a small space after you give a space you write percentage b percentage the value of the second variable okay now how do you how do i get those values it is pretty simple i will say echo good morning and then here i will say percentage 2 likewise number of values or number of variables you are going to so this will carry the percentage 1 to get the value of a uh, this will be 2 like that as many variables you will define like that you can say 1 2 3 4 like that you can write that in the batch file which you are going to call so we are calling test.bat okay so let me save it and let's see how this is going to work the moment i run this so it is asking enter name so i am going to enter the first name as rakesh second <coughs> okay same mistake i did not save it save this save this now let's see how it is coming okay enter name so i am saying rakesh and then enter the second name i am saying john okay now what happened if you see the test.bat has been called and it is printing good morning rakesh good morning john return to main then it has come back to the main and then we can hit on exit getting it so this is how pretty simple one but very very powerful one if you know how the uh, parameters do work and if you know about the call function if you remember the call function and the parameters how to pass this will be a pretty useful and powerful command so thank you guys for watching it we are going to move on to our next topic do continue uh, into the series and then do comment that you have completed the topics thank you guys